Hello drummers! Welcome to Tim Connolly Drums. I, uh, I had a little break. I was in Italy and I spent a few weeks there and had an awesome time in Italy seeing some amazing, amazing things in Italy and Rome. I was in Rome, Sorrento, Ravello, Amalfi, all along the Amalfi coast. Pompeii. I saw some really, really incredible sights there. It's incredible history. I was in the Pompeii ruins, 2,000 years old, the Colosseum, etc., etc. So I'm back now. I took about three weeks off and now I am back. Today we are going to talk about something that has changed my life, to be totally honest, in terms of drumming. And uh, that is the Evans DB1 quiet drum heads okay so what we're going to do is we are going to check them out in terms of um, uh, the sound that they make raw no nothing mic'd then we're going to mic them up a little bit and see what they sound like mic'd as well for fun but i want to tell you guys about these drum heads and what makes them so great and why i like them now um, COVID obviously had a major effect on all of us musicians and a lot of changes had to be made. One of the changes that I made was I renovated my garage. Now I realize you can't see the whole thing, you can only see a small section of it here, but I turned my garage from a dumping ground, it was absolutely full of boxes and bikes and stuff and everything and I turned it into a livable room. It's got a heater, um, it's got uh, you know TV, it's got my drum kit, I've got a couch in here, uh, one of my drum kits, I have numerous drum kits. I got some basketball stuff over here for my kids to play with, there's lockers on the other side. You know, I redid this entire garage and it's now an extension of my house and I can use it year round. I live in Canada, it gets really cold in the winter, not a problem. Now, the main reason I did that was not just for recreation and have a fun place to go, add another room to the house, etc., etc. The main reason, honestly, was so that I could teach in-person lessons in my home without having to bring people into my house. My wife was a little bit nervous about having people in the house during all this COVID stuff. So I ended up doing the garage. I am now back to teaching in-person lessons. We do them here in the garage. Now, obviously it's loud in the garage playing a normal drum kit. And I was playing a normal drum kit in the garage here up until recently, till I got these bad boys. Now, um, as a comparison, unfortunately, I don't have a regular drum kit set up in here for you to hear the noise difference. You're gonna have to trust me on this. The noise difference between a regular drum kit, this reduces the volume. Actually, let me just say one thing about them. Uh, 13 inch snare, 10 inch tom, 12 inch tom, 14 inch floor tom, 18 inch bass. This is a Yamaha Stage Custom kit. Uh, bop kit actually and um, these heads are quite quiet snare has got these little ripple things on it plastic underneath against like a mesh it's like nylon or something it's plastic but it feels like a something like your screen the screen on your um, on your front door in the old houses they used to have those doors screen doors porch doors. It kind of feels like that on the snare. Then there's this plastic running through. I'll let you take a quick look at it here if you can see. So that's what it looks like. And it really sounds and feels like a real snare drum. That's the amazing thing. The most amazing thing about these, how quiet they are, they have tonality to them, these drums. When you um, actually are playing it feels like you're playing a real drum kit because it feel the toms feel like real heads but they just don't have the volume obviously and they feel really good in my hands because i'm getting the bounce off the drum that i would get normally so 
let's let's play these drums a little bit let so i can let you hear what they sound like and um we'll do it unmiked and then mic'd let's check it out
Okay, so that is the Evans DB1 low volume drum heads. Like I said, 13 inch snare, 10 inch tom, 12 inch tom, 14 inch tom, 18 inch bass. Really loving it. It's, uh, it's a fairly new invention. I always hated those um, plastic or rubber pads that you would put over top of the drums. They had no feel, killed the tone. I always hated them. You know, obviously they're quiet, but I prefer to play on a pad, honestly, over those crappy heads. This adds a whole new dimension of actual drum ability and musicality because we've got tonality in the drums we've got feel on the on the snare the toms the cymbals everything about it is great now let me just mention something quickly about these zildjian cymbals they're also really really nice and very quiet low volume i don't have the crash i'm going to get the crash actually but i don't have it yet but i've got the uh I think this is a 20 inch ride and the 14 inch hats and I've been using these for quite a while the heads I just got from Evans recently so um, that's why I decided to do the cymbals and the heads together and just show you my setup that I'm teaching out of because it's quiet I'm talking to my student I'm playing he's playing I can talk to him this is <laughs> revolutionary for any drum teacher I highly recommend these they're not cheap. I think this entire setup, Canadian was over 400, as I recall. The symbols are, um, for the two of them, I'm not 100% because I bought them a while ago, but they would be probably 250, 280 Canadian. I don't know what the US prices are, but um, I'm sure that they would be cheaper <laughs> based on the US versus Canadian dollar. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I'm going to be doing some, some, some more videos soon. As, like I said in my, earlier in the video, I was away. Now I'm back, and it's back to uh, filming some really cool stuff for you guys. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Keep drumming. See ya.